welcome back happy holidays i hope you had an amazing christmas and a lovely new year's eve um in today's video i'm going to share with you some of my favorite locations in greece it's january winter cold i still can't let go of my christmas decorations yet or i'm just being too lazy to take everything down anyway i figured yes it's a bit weird to talk about Greece in January, but what better way to cheer us up, to get us out of this cold, wintry mood, than talk about summer and beaches. And possibly you can even start planning your holiday from now, if you like what I'm sharing with you. When you think of Greece, you're probably thinking, okay, Santorini, some of those lovely islands, which can get very expensive and not everyone can afford it. I'm gonna share with you a location that's very affordable. I'm gonna mention three of my favorite beaches. Um, which you can do without breaking the bank basically so stay until the end subscribe if you like what I'm sharing give this video a big thumbs up and find me on Instagram because I'm sharing a lot of my travel pics there as well I'm gonna start with number three and um, this is uh, all three of these beaches are located basically on Kalkidiki which is very close to Thessaloniki so it's not an island you don't have to spend a lot of time flying there and taking the ferry boat you can basically fly into Thessaloniki or even drive there if you live somewhere close by and it's honestly these beaches they look like they're not even in Greece I feel so tropical so stay tuned because you're gonna love what I'm sharing okay let's start the countdown number three is blue carpet suites uh, which are located near the small coastal town of Haniotis. And Haniotis is a very tiny town located in this part of the um, peninsula Cassandra on Kalkidiki. And during the winter, it has a population of about somewhere around 900 to 1,000 people because no one actually lives there. It's more of a tourist location that comes alive during summer. You have a little uh, stores here and there, a lot of hotels, a lot of suites. The blue carpet suites are actually located here, uh, a short drive away from Kaniotis actually. And when you when you actually see the beach, it has an amazing kind of blue and white feel to it. Very Greek, I must say, but also very loungy, very modern. You have a lot of these interesting lounges and you know um, pools and infinity pools, tranquility pools. So it's a very nice area. if you choose to stay uh, in the actual suites but you can always stay somewhere else downtown Haniotis and just go there for a day because it's, it has this really nice lush feeling to it it's very peaceful not a lot of people are very good for young people because the music is very you know loungy beach type of music so I definitely recommend you checking out the blue carpet suites if you're there short way away from blue carpet suites and it's actually another beach called Mama Luca which is also a restaurant and a beach so it's a whole day experience and it has a that lovely beach feeling it's a different style than blue carpet suites it has more of a beigey browny white type of feel almost you feel like you're somewhere on an island in a tropical location very lovely umbrellas it's very nicely decorated um, and I think there is a cover I, I, I want to say that per day maybe like 15 euros or something like that 
to kind of get a lounge chair there but in that price you can basically order whatever you want up to 15 euros on that menu um, it does have that exclusive feel to it because not, not everyone can go there so the crowd is very selective the music is amazing you, you're only um, you're very close to the actual restaurants where you can, where you can go and have lunch uh, again a very nice lush beach that almost doesn't look like you're on the peninsula of Cassandra so a very positive experience I love that they have huge lounge beds where you can you know sit and enjoy the water is crystal crystal clear the beach is not very sandy but I think everything else make, makes up for that small little fact Number one on my list is another beach, another very exclusive beach um, near Caniotis, and this is Akinos Beach. Now, this is a very popular location for young people because um, it's a very nice loungy beach during the day, but it turns into a club and it's very exclusive, very difficult to get in, especially during peak season, during the summer. So you probably, if you're planning on going there, you want to reserve in advance. And it's quite big. It fills up really fast because it's so popular. I think you also have a cover of 20 to 25 euros per person per day, which gets you a lounge chair. Um, a lounge chair and pretty much a drink, I think. Everything else is extra, like the food and stuff like that. But it's so worth it because it's very exclusive, it's very wide. You have different areas in Akinos Beach as well. You have the area near the beach with the lounge chairs. You have more like the bar type area and restaurant type area in the upper level. There is even this amazing little corner of the bar where you have a, a wall uh, full of flowers and it really makes you feel like you're in the Caribbean not in actual Greece. This is my number one location. And yes, these three beaches don't really look like you're in Greece. It honestly looks like you're somewhere else and they're very affordable, reasonable prices. They're also very close to Thessaloniki, maybe like a, an hour drive from there if you're flying in from there. So I would definitely recommend checking these out. Be mindful of the crowds and make a reservation ahead of time. And Hopefully you will comment below the video which one of these three locations was your favorite. January. I know this is cruel talking about beaches and sea and then sand and sun and now we're back to January but hopefully you'll start planning your vacation from now and have something to keep yourself busy until summer. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon with another video. Bye bye!